Alright guys, welcome back. Um, just showing some more stuff. I'm going, still going over the uh, F14 here. Um, got the uh, main gear down. Kind of checking this out. And uh, some of the good things is, um, see here's this metal. You know, the original actuators were plastic. Uh, and they went ahead and made their their uh, uh, mounting aft portion metal now so you don't have to worry about it breaking uh, there's that mod uh, that I was talking about looks like they put put a spacer in there just to kind of tilt that bracket this way to uh, adjust how far those uh, wings sweep back and forth to prevent it from uh, hitting the stabs um, so that's a good thing um, nice and clean in there all this line I'm just gonna I don't know. It's uh, it's a lot of line, a lot of T's to go through there, pulling all that out and replacing it just because I'm picky. So if uh, uh, if I don't run into any leaks, I may just run with it and just kind of see how it goes. Um, I did have them paint my gear. Uh, the painting of the uh, main gear uh, is a lot better than the nose. They did a pretty good job, so I'm happy with that. Uh, the nose, uh, they did a really good job with that. You can just see some places where, um, uh, I don't know, may just need to be cleaned up or whatnot, uh, but you got some paint chipping, you know, and that's just, I mean, that's going to happen, uh, but that's easy fix, um, uh, and I'll have to scrape off all this overspray, which it just wipes right off, so it's not too bad. Uh, and I think this is just... Yeah, this is just residue on the tire, so that cleans off pretty easy. So it'll clean up nice. Um, yeah, see, you can kind of see that. That's what I'm talking about. That dark area, you can see the white haziness around it, which is sanding and dust. Same here. I was trying to illustrate it in, in, in those pictures before, but it was just the light wasn't good enough yet. And, uh, it's just one of those things, it, it kind of sticks out because this area is real light and then it goes dark around the decal. So it just uh, doesn't, you know, you can see this dark area here where they had sanded uh, a decal off and repainted. Uh, so I'm hopeful I can get that fixed, we'll see. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys that quick uh, video um, uh, of this and how it looks inside here. These were... You, know, you have to be able to remove these so you get your turbines in and out. They're real flimsy, so you have to be careful with those when you're working. Um, I like how they did this area reinforced with carbon fiber because you do have that uh, pylon that's going to mount on there. And uh, it should go on no problem. Uh, actually, this is the wrong one. Let's try this one. up in there and it locks in and then there's a screw in the back and then it just goes on just like that really easy I like how that's simple I like how they do their um, they're attaching the wing ordnance they do have hard points in there and all that stuff you can kind of see it there bigger for the hole the bolt push it in and push back it locks in and then you put the screw there so it'll be easy to get on and off uh, and that's all said and done. Nice big spongy tires. They even painted the little these little guys. Oh, those are just screw ins. They just painted them black to kind of give it that uh, that look. But uh, very robust. That just blows me away that that little air cylinder gets that up and down. Because this is a heavy gear. You can tell it's got some beef to it. So, hopefully it'll work okay. I haven't heard uh, any problems with it working. There's a locking mechanism. It comes down, air cylinder pushes. That kind of overextends that elbow. Keeps it from coming up. That'll take the brunt of your impact. Alright. Okay, well that's about it. Just wanted to do a quick little video. Been over here piddling with this. P200. Uh, I've never never ran one, so I'm not very familiar. I had to put the uh, 
ceramic plug in there for the Caro start and uh, you know I just kind of hooked everything up to kind of see what it looks like what I don't understand is this uh, piece right here doesn't even touch the o-ring for the starter I'm guessing that as this thing spools up it pushes down and engages and then once uh, uh, you know once the starter kicks off it's backs up in here and it kind of disconnects so you're not touching uh, I'm guessing that's how that works uh, instructions didn't really say how tight to get this uh, Caro plug so I just basically tightened it down and, and until I couldn't turn it anymore I didn't want to put too much force on it uh, so if anybody knows let me know but uh, it's a big beast hopefully I can get it in there <laughs> but uh, you guys take it easy and like I said I'm just gonna continue going over this suit until I make sure I find everything uh, that needs to be found and uh, reported but so far looking good I've pretty much already identified uh, everything that uh, needs to be addressed so hopefully I don't find anything else but uh, you guys take it easy <laughs>